Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa, Florida. Hey, Al, what's going on, brother? Not much. Just um, playing the gold, while waiting for it to pull back, buy some more, and maybe Trump will kill another bad guy and send it higher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gay. Well, so. Yeah, because I, I, I got that report. People, you should listen to the report because we sold it on that Monday, like you said and made a huge uh, profit after uh, they killed the bad guy. Wow. So what Al's talking about, folks, is that we, we had bought, you know, a few stocks, like six stocks in the gold report. We did sell them. I believe I, I sold them on the Monday. I sold them before that happened, didn't I? You sold them. Uh, no, I think it happened on Friday, the bad report. They went ahead and killed the bad guy. Oh, I see. What, what, what happened is this, folks, okay? So what happened is that the expansion, that's right, it was the second expansion of volume inside the gold market, and we sold into it that morning, and it was a great sell. So PAAS, we had owned it. We sold it at 24 bucks. Uh, you're trading 22 right now. So are you looking to buy this again, Al? Do you own it now? Or, uh, what are you doing? Well, um, well, actually, I bought it like a, a day ago, but it went up 77 cents, okay. and then I read the gold report and um, got back out of it, still made um, like $400 on 400 shares. So okay. um, just wondering what's a good pullback to uh, purchase it. Okay, so yesterday what, what did happen is that you know, saw a small sign of strength. Um, you know, this wants to go to highs again. The, the, the situation in most of these, you know, basically operate on the same way. The different differential with Pan American is that can it go to 2075 again? You know, yesterday we hit, well, we hit 2091. That might have been it, man. I, more than likely, this is build more cars. Let me, let me put this on a weekly for a second. So I never got back to... 1948. Yeah, I'm, you know, it's in decent shape. I mean, it's still one of the strongest stocks out there. You know, if you don't own it, you don't own it right now, i just wait again and see if it gets down to that uh, 2091 again. You know, that's the way I'd, I'd play that thing. Let me just see something with the GDX for a second. So, yeah, see, that has a sign of strength. Not a lot of action today, though. Um... I noticed one thing that the gold and the oil, the the price of uh, gasoline and that, pretty much correlate pretty close. Yeah, um, you know I haven't watched that. That's something I can take a look at, but I I haven't watched that. I mean, the the gold market has acted correctly for a long period of time now, and what I mean by that, folks, is that. You're going higher with volume, you pull back with lighter volume, you build more cars, drive everyone crazy, do it again, you know. So, I mean, I like how it's set up. Gold, gold, you know, gold looks to me like, you know, we're going to make that complex ABC structure up. 1704 is on the agenda, man, you know, so. I just, you know, you get a pull back on PAAS, buy the heck out of it, man. What about uh, HMY? Okay, stay right there, Al. We'll come right back. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow up 17, Nasdaq up 19, S&P's up 3.5. We're talking with Al from Tampa, and we're talking gold. Right now, we're going to be talking Harmony Gold. So the low in Harmony for the year, folks, is at 157. The high is 393. You're at 357. So you own this right now, Al? No, I, I originally got in in it like two dollars and twenty two cents. I've been buying it and selling it on your recommendation from the gold report. Okay. And um, I'm just telling people if you're not in the gold report, try it for a month. It, it's cheap. You you won't have you won't lose your money in that in it, and you'll be very happy with it. Well, I I'm just that. wondering if Harmony's going to pull back. Okay, so. It doesn't look to me like it wants to pull back, actually. I mean, it, you're at 357, you know, 390's game here. That's what it looks like. Um, you know, you're going to need more volume on this way up, but this is a high-end consolidation. And let me see the 
when the next time they're coming out with numbers. Okay, cool. February 11th. They're coming out with numbers February 11th. Um, you know, so. Well, they could be pretty good, especially with the price of gold right now. Yes, no doubt. They're looking for they now this. Too, it's, it's also South African. Um, Ran. Uh, gold. Uh, That's yeah, right. Rand. That's right. So what ends up happening? They're looking for 32 billion rand. Um, that trades at like 14 or 15 right now. Let me see a Z A R. 14 and a half probably. Yeah, you're at 14.33 rand dollars to one U.S. dollar. Um, you know, most of these. I mean, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Basically. If you want to jump in harmony also, it looks to me like right. So right now, the way that this market is set up, the metals market is set up, you know, we could wake up any day here and, you know, see it's up 20 or 30 dollars. The dollar has not basically, it changed trend, okay, but that, this does not have a conviction move yet for lower. That's what, that's what it comes down to. And until that happens, I don't think we're going to see, you know, that 1704 in the gold market. Now, I expect we're going to see it, but the bottom line is that we need help from that U.S. dollar. That's, that's what it comes down to. And the help that I think we're going to get is still from the bond market. The bond market, folks, the note and bond market just keeps saying that, hey, guess what, man, they, they, they want a higher price. And that keeps bringing the interest rate structure down. The more the interest rate structure comes down, the more positive the metals market become, you know, because that's just the way it works, folks. <laughs> um, you know, when you're talking about zero, I don't, I don't think we're going to get to zero interest rates, but as long as these interest rates stay lower, I think it's a big deal. There's no doubt about it. What has happened is this, is that the U.S. dollar is the, one of the only major currencies that we haven't hit new all-time highs in gold. Like, if I watch this, if I bring up a GC1, I'll just bring up this. You're going to be really surprised inside of the gold contract in every other currency, just where we are. Like, if I bring it up in the Canadian dollar, uh, what you're going to see is that, let me bring this back. So I'll bring this back 15 years. And what you're going to see out here is that right now in the Canadian dollar, uh, we're basically looking at uh, 2047, and the high that was established in 2011, which is our high, okay, was 1902. If I take this and I turn around and I put it in, watch this, I even put it in the euro. I'm just changing, I'm changing currencies here, folks, just so you can see the correlation. And the euro... The high in 2012 was uh, 1388, and we just hit 1451. You know, so it's only the U.S. dollar right now when you're talking about major currencies that we haven't hit all-time highs. But I can tell you from the way that some of these equities are trading, like Franco Nevada, uh, this hit another all-time high today. Gold wants higher price. You know, so. Yeah, so, you know, Tom, you've created a problem with me this year. Um, I've got gained like 45%, and guess what? I have to start paying a lot more taxes, but I got a lot more income thanks to your gold report. Well, th but so, the, the um, cool, this is what the cool thing is. Nice, the, the cool thing is, that's it was. A nice problem. Nah, that's listen, a nice problem to have. I, I appreciate it. And the cool thing is, folks, that was done in the first week of January, so you're not paying those taxes till next year. So hopefully you're going to be paying yeah, a lot of taxes. It broke, yeah, it broke, out, it broke out in May. I was in the beginning of the May, and I basically uh, hit all the pullbacks, and then I have had like a 45% gain in your gold report. So well, I I'm just saying it. The people, people need to go ahead and at least try for a month, and um, they'll be very happy with it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. And, folks, that wasn't a commercial. <laughs> um, and listen, if you, this is what ends up happening in the gold market. It is a unique market. Al's been in a long period of time. You need, in the gold, a couple of different things happen in the gold market, folks. Sorry. You need a, a stomach that can take it, okay? You're hearing the good stories. 
gold is pretty violent going both ways. Well, yes, we have done very well over the course of years. There's no two ways about that, okay? I just want to explain the other side of the situation. Um, it's a unique market. We think we know the market really well, as well as anyone. Uh, no doubt about that. It doesn't happen overnight, though. That's what you really want to understand. You know, what people don't understand, like, I, I actually really love it when it doesn't matter what even large station you're listening to. What they don't get, you know, people say, well, gold hasn't moved that much, and say, wow, man. The people that say that, folks, the bottom line, they have not been in the gold market because these gold equities, granted, there's no, there's no two ways about it that the S&Ps, guess what? You went up 30%. But guess what? These gold stocks, they're, they're at small prices, and it's a lot easier for a smaller price to go up into a higher price. You know, like Pan American Silver. It went from $15, you know, up to $24, and like three months, okay? That's, that's a good move, but that's how gold likes to move. The, 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 that's on the bullish side. On the bearish side, folks, guess what? You know, if you don't have discipline and you hang in those, well, guess what, man? They'll, they'll take you south so quick you can't see straight. That is why when we get them, I like selling into strength, okay? Because I know that it doesn't mean that it's not going to go higher, but selling into strength, I've always liked. Uh, I like buying kind of when people, you know, basically not talking about it and when people go wild, I like selling into strength, period, because the bottom line is that you take the money off the table, you sit there, you do nothing for whether it's three, four, five weeks, okay? That takes patience, and that can drive people crazy, but the bottom line is that on a longer basis, uh, it's, it's a lot better. That, that's the real bottom line.